17 things that you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach, Florida right now. What's up everybody, my name is Joe McFarlane and welcome to the Life in South Florida channel. If you haven't already, take the opportunity right now to click the subscribe button below and ring the bell. This way you can be first to be notified whenever I drop new content of what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. If you didn't know, I am the broker owner of Reform Realty, South Florida Homes and Luxury Estates. And as much as I love to make these videos, I would love it even more to be able to help you with any of your real estate needs. So the information that you see popping up below is my actual contact information. I am the actual person who will be answering your calls and responding to your texts and emails. So never hesitate to reach out and ask if you ever have a question with regard to South Florida real estate. Also, I'm interested to know what you think of these videos. So leave a comment and talk to me about what it is that you would like to see in South Florida. Without further ado, here are 17 things that you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach. Reason number one is gonna be the most obvious. You guys all know what it is. It is the awesome weather. Guys, Pompano Beach, Florida, absolutely phenomenal. The temperatures range on the winter, so as low as about 67 degrees, and in the summertime, as high as 85 degrees. Those are the averages between the two seasons. Now, typically, throughout all year long, the temperature of the water at the beach in Pompano Beach is approximately 80 degrees. So you can literally enjoy swimming at the ocean year round. Now very seldomly will the temperature drop below 67 and we do get a couple of nights a week in the winter time when it does go about 55 and it gets a little bit crazy <laughs> for Floridians. But uh, it's only like that for a couple of days before the temperature spikes back up and we're into the mid 70s and you can count on that in the middle of the winter time. Also, don't forget to pack an umbrella because South Florida does have the reputation for having scattered thunderstorms and rain showers sprinkled sporadically throughout the day on any given day while you're visiting. And that's probably the best reason why you should come to Pompano Beach, Florida. Reason number two of what you need to know about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida is the employment opportunity. Pompano Beach is located conveniently near three major cities. Fort Lauderdale is 10 minutes south. Miami is approximately 25 minutes south, and West Palm Beach is 35 minutes north of Pompano Beach. There are approximately 6 million people in the population from the northern tip of Palm Beach County to the southern tip of Miami-Dade County, which means there's tons of opportunity in business and also even more opportunity as an entrepreneur in starting your own business in sunny South Florida. The opportunities are endless, and that's another reason that you should know. Reason number three as to what you should know about before moving to Pompano Beach, Florida is the cost of living. Now, the cost of living in Pompano Beach, Florida is approximately 5% higher than the national average. But you should know that living nearby in Boca Raton is 21% higher than the national average. And if you compare the national average to what the cost is of living in Dix Hills, New York, that's in Long Island, New York, where I grew up, the cost is 67% higher than the national average. So all things considered, even though Pompano Beach is 5% higher than the average, it is substantially lower than other places in South Florida to live and much lower than other places in New York State to live. All things considered, Pompano Beach being a little bit higher than the national average is still very affordable when you look at it that way. Single family homes in Pompano Beach range anywhere starting about $300,000 and can go as high as $3 million if you're looking for a mansion near the beach or even some type of penthouse luxury condo on the beach. Utility costs are pretty low for the most part and the reason why is because during the winter time, a lot of Floridians don't use their electricity as much as people from up north do because they're trying to keep their homes nice and warm from the uh, brutal winter cold. So we usually keep our windows open and we let the breeze blow through in the winter months and that lowers our utility costs. And as a result, 
It's a little bit less expensive in Pompano Beach, Florida. On the other hand, there is an overabundance of tourist places to visit in Pompano Beach, Florida. And as a result, we do have a lot of restaurants and different little things to do and visit in terms of activities and water sports. And because of that, the extracurricular activities can be a little bit more expensive than what you would expect if you were to go anywhere else in the United States. All things considered, the cost of living in Pompano Beach is relatively low and it's a great place to be regardless. Number four on our list is the proximity of Pompano Beach as it relates to everywhere else in Florida and in the world. Guys, some of the other videos that I've mentioned, I've talked about the benefits of living in South Florida as a whole. And feel free to click in the link below in the description box below to be linked to some of my other videos where I go into depth about some of the proximity and great places that are nearby that you can visit when you are visiting or living in South Florida. So for Pompano Beach, just 35 minutes north, we have the world famous West Palm Beach. Just 10 minutes north, we have Boca Raton. Just 10 minutes south, we have Fort Lauderdale. Just 35 minutes south, we have Miami and Miami Beach, Florida. If you wanna travel about an hour and a half south, you can see the Florida Keys, or if you wanna go all the way down south, approximately three, maybe three and a half hours, you can go way down to Key West, Florida, which is absolutely beautiful. You should also know that there is a major international airport, Fort Lauderdale Airport, just 20 minutes south of Pompano Beach, where it is a major travel hub, and you can get to almost anywhere in the world from Fort Lauderdale Airport. You could take an hour long airplane ride to the Bahamas, which is literally just across the ocean way, or you can travel the long way over the ocean and visit Europe if you would like. But the main international hub is right there. Also, just south of Pompano Beach in both Fort Lauderdale and in Miami, we have two major cruise lines where the largest cruise ships and the most luxurious cruise ships in the world are conveniently located for you to access whenever you'd like. All in all, Pompano Beach is about 30 minutes or three hours to almost anywhere that you may want to travel. Number five on our list is the arts and culture. There's always something fun to do in Pompano Beach. Thanks to the local arts and culture scene, you can head downtown to the Creative Arts District and explore a rotating art exhibit or enjoy a live ballet performance at Pompano Beach Cultural Center. You can see paintings and photography from local artists or attend an art workshop at Bailey Contemporary Arts Center. You could watch a live music performance at Pompano Beach Amphitheater, which has been structured to fit over 3,000 people, or discover more about Pompano Beach's history or enroll in a storytelling workshop at the Blanche Eli House Museum. In summary, in terms of arts and culture, there is never anything that you'll miss out on in Pompano Beach. There's tons to do. Number six on our list is the actual beach itself and the fishing pier. With over three miles of public beach access in Pompano Beach, there's tons of fun to be had in the Florida sun. You can swim, sunbathe, have a picnic on the sandy beach, head over to Pompano Beach Pier and take in the ocean views while exploring the various shops. Rent jet skis from KC Jet Ski and Water Sports for an adrenaline rush on the Atlantic Ocean. Or you could spend the day at the public kite beach, which is a great spot to try your hand at kiteboarding or windsurfing. Or relax at the North Ocean Park, one of the greater Fort Lauderdale's most beautiful beaches in all of the area. Number seven on our list of things that you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach is the green space. Not only does Pompano Beach have some of the most amazing beach spots, but there are also over 50 parks and green spaces to explore. You can play basketball or enjoy a picnic at Pompano Community Park. You can go for a run or play on the playgrounds at North Pompano Park. You can walk through the palm trees and enjoy relaxing views of the harbor at Harbor's Edge Park. You can explore the Hillsboro Lighthouse at Hillsboro Inlet Park. You can see Florida wildlife while hiking at Crystal Lake Sand Pine Scrub. You can join a sports league, enroll the kids in summer camp, or take a community class at the Highlands Recreation Center, or take your little doggy out for some exercise at the Canine Corner Dog Park. The possibilities are endless in the parks and recreation in Pompano Beach. Number eight on our list of reasons of what you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach, Florida is that Pompano Beach is family friendly. Pompano is a perfect place for families with its many fun activities for kids. You can explore Butterfly World, which is the largest butterfly park on planet Earth. You could spend the day shopping at Festival Marketplace, which is a European style market with vendors selling clothing, jewelry, home goods, and much, much more. You can ride horses and walk through the petting farm or go on a train ride at Trade Winds Park and Stables. 
race go-karts, go bowling, and play arcade games at one of my favorite places, Extreme Action Park. Explore wall climbing and test your ninja skills and practice skiing at Planet Air Sports. Or play team building skills like bubble soccer and bubble royale while rolling around in your own inflatable bubble and bashing into other people wearing bubbles at bash events all here in Pompano Beach, Florida. Well, if you haven't guessed already, there's tons to do in Pompano Beach, and we're only partway through our list because number nine on our 17 reasons of things that you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach are the events and festivals. If you're searching for things to do in Pompano Beach, you won't have to look very far. The city hosts several unique events and festivals throughout the entire year for you to enjoy. You could try the seafood creations from area restaurants and listen to live music at Pompano Beach Seafood Festival. You can dress to the nines and try upscale food and wine at the Pompano Beach Fine Food and Wine Celebration. You can experience the culture of Brazil at the annual Brazilian Festival where you can sample South American cuisine, enjoy live music, and shop local vendors, and much, much more. You can ride carnival rides and take part in the silent auction all while celebrating Italian culture at the St. Coleman Italian Festival. You can get in the holiday spirit by attending the nation's oldest holiday boat parade and jam out on the beach to local, traveling, and big name musicians at Beach Fest Music Festival. Or you could taste fruity brews, tropical food creations, and unique rum drinks at the annual Pineapple Jamboree. There's never anything, a shortage of anything to do while visiting or staying and living in Pompano Beach, Florida. All right, guys, we made it to number 10 on our list, and so far the list is going great. We're gonna continue to rip right through it, and if you haven't already, remember, click the subscribe button below, ring the bell so you can be notified whenever I drop new content like this, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Number 10 on our list, and you probably were wondering, hey, Joe, what's the fishing situation like? in Pompano Beach. Let me tell you this, it's probably one of the best in South Florida and very well could be ranked as some of the best in the world. So be sure to grab your pole and your tackle box before you head to Pompano Beach because you're going to find some of the best fishing spots in Florida as well as some of the most exciting fishing tournaments. You can go charter fishing with one of the very many professional fishing charters that they're out there to offer for high energy experience offshore. Or you can hop into a kayak and catch big game fish like mahi-mahi, kingfish, snapper, and more. Check out TC Kayak Fishing, or if you don't like boats, that's fine. You can stand on the beach and literally fish from the oceanfront or on the fishing pier. Don't forget to show off your skills at the Pompano Beach Fishing Rodeo, which is an annual fishing tournament, or the Extreme Kayak Fishing Tournament in the Pompano Beach Sailfish Challenge. Either way, in terms of fishing, Pompano Beach has you covered. Well now, speaking of fish, that brings us to number 11 on our list, which is scuba diving. Yes, Pompano Beach is scuba dive central. There's so much to do. There's an overabundance of opportunity, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or an expert level scuba diver. From shipwrecks to natural reefs, there's so much to explore. Take a diving course to become scuba certified at Pompano Beach Dive. You can head out on a scuba excursion with South Florida diving. For more relaxed diving experience that allows you to explore further into the ocean, try free diving at Drift Free Diving. Not quite ready to go into scuba yet? That's fine, because there's plenty of places within Pompano Beach that also have world-class snorkeling. If you don't like the boats or the ocean, that's fine too. It's pretty to look at. You can charter a boat for a sunset cruise while you're visiting as well. Either way, you're gonna have a good time. All right, that brings us to number 12 on our list. Let me ask you a question. Is your golf game strong? How strong is your golf game? Are you an avid golfer? Because courses in Pompano Beach are some of the best golf courses in all of the world, and that hinges directly on our amazing weather. You can golf all year long, 52 weeks out of the year. Schedule time to join a golf league or play at Palm Air Country Club and try out the Palms, Oaks, or Cypress courses. You can hit the back nine at the Pompano Beach Municipal Golf Course and be sure to compete in their annual golf tournament. Check out the Pompano Beach Golf Shops for clubs, attire, and other golfing accessories. Also, play the nine hole course at Leisureville Fairway. If an afternoon rainstorm comes in to spoil your game, don't worry about it. You can go to the Sinew Golf for an indoor simulated round of golf, state-of-the-art technology, lots of fun for the boys. Do you like restaurants? I know I do, which brings us to number 13 on our list, 
the restaurants. Now, when it comes to cuisine, Pompano Beach has everything from fine dining establishments to very laid back, chill seafood spots. You can enjoy views of the Atlantic Ocean while eating sun-kissed shrimp, mahi-mahi, and other seafood bites at the Oceanic Restaurant. Or you can savor authentic Italian dishes like veal parmesan, shrimp franchise at Gianni's Restaurant. Just make sure you leave a little bit of room for the delicious tiramisu. Now, don't forget about eating traditional Mediterranean cuisine while enjoying the live belly dancing, what, entertainment at La Vie Lebanese Restaurant. You can eat vegan comfort food like Surf's Up Vegan Surf and Turf or vegan chili cheese fries at the Rabbit Hole. You can get endless Sunday mimosas with brunch foods like steak and poached eggs, smoked salmon, spinach benedict, or French toast bread pudding at Cafe Max. Order the short rib roll, tuna poke surf stack, or not your average scampi at the restaurant known as The Beach House in Pompano. Grab some sweet treats like Brookie Bar, Sweet Toffee Pudding, or Pop-Tart of the Day at the Sweet Rustic Bake Shop in Pompano. Either way, no matter what, there's a bunch of cool places to go, and I'm sure you're gonna like it. Number 14 on my list is probably the best and my most favorite, and that is the breweries in Pompano Beach. Now, when it comes to South Florida, uh, brewery locals, Pompano Beach may not be the most recognizable among some of the larger cities and breweries in the area. However, there is a fast growing community of craft beer and cider enthusiasts right here in Pompano Beach. So you'll be able to find some delicious local brews, bring your four-legged friend, that's your dog, to the dog-friendly tap room at 26 Degrees Brewing Company, where you can sip on a Captain Ron Heffenweizen or Zico's Rage Imperial Stout. You can drink a black berry fruited sour or a whoop whoop hoppy weed ale at Black Flamingo Brewing Company. Crack open a Cypress Creek Cream Ale or a Moodoo Voodoo Stout or order one of the rotating seasonal drafts at Bangin' Banjo Brewery Company. Take home a bottle of the Mango Murder, the Golden Wild Ale or the Citrus Farmer Ale from Odd Breed Wild Ales. Order a flight of beer served with beakers with options like Water of Youth, Pale Ale, Cocobana, Blonde Ale, and more at Dangerous Minds Brewing Company. You want to try something new? Visit Broski Cider Works, where they're serving up passion fruit, mango, and strawberry lemonade craft ciders. Sounds pretty delicious, huh? I think I want one right now. All right, number 15 on our list of things that you need to know about before moving to Pompano Beach, Florida, is that Pompano Beach is a real estate and retirement haven. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm just gonna shoot you straight and tell you the truth right off the bat. We have beautiful weather, we have favorable tax conditions, and we have superior politics. And it's because of those three reasons, main reasons, why people continue to move here, which drives the demand, and with the scarcity of inventory, continues to push housing market prices higher than where they are today. Now, if you're an investor or a homeowner, that's tremendous upside appreciation on your behalf, especially if you're looking at a long-term investment, 10, 20, 30 years out. If you're an entrepreneur and uh, you're just moving here because you like the beautiful weather, that's great too, because if you hold a property for long-term, you also can expect upside appreciation in the real estate market. Recently, Pompano Beach was voted number nine on the list from Niche Magazine, of the top 10 places to retire in the United States of America. So in terms of real estate, investment, and retirement enjoyment, that's one of the many reasons why you should consider Pompano Beach. Number 16 on our list, have you ever taken a taxi? Have you ever taken a water taxi? That's right, that's number 16. Water taxi is a way to get around through the stunning waterways, and it's not only fun, but convenient. You can beat the traffic, you can lose yourself as you cruise past multi-million dollar mansions, historic buildings, and lively restaurants in the Pompano Beach waterways. The Pompano Beach water taxi is an excellent option for locals and visitors alike, whether it's a large group, corporate team building, a wedding party, or just a night out on the town. It's something cool to do. Pompano Beach Water Taxi will get you there in style. The water taxi cruises the Intracoastal starting from Lighthouse Point at Caps Place and goes south to Oakland Park Bow Campers. There are nine stops along the way, which include restaurants, 
parks, and tons to see wildlife and fish life. And it's all for a flat fee that you can jump on and off as many times as you like. Here's a pro tip, bring your own beer. All right, guys, we made it to number 17, the last item on our list of things you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach, Florida. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button below, ring those bells, give me a like, put a comment below, and you will be first to be notified whenever I drop new content of what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. Without further ado, number 17 is the Casino and Track. That is the Isle Casino racing in Pompano Park. Now, in sunny South Florida, Pompano Beach truly does have a gaming casino, which is different from some of the other ones. For starters, it's a smoke-free environment. They also have a live horse racing that is a horse harness racing track for you to go and place your bets and watch the horses race. It's super fun. They have 1,800 different slots, 38 different gaming tables, six restaurants, and all of the amenities that you would want to see inside of a casino that's super fun in sunny South Florida. So be sure that while you're here to stop by the Isle Gaming Casino in Pompano Beach, and you'll be sure to have tons of fun while you're visiting in sunny South Florida. Well, all right, there you have it, friends. 17 things that you need to know before moving to Pompano Beach, Florida in 2021. Things have been super on the up and up down here in sunny South Florida, especially in the Pompano Beach area. In fact, the entire oceanfront, the entire beachfront that is just uh, next to the pier has been through a beautification project. The city dumped a whole bunch of money into beautifying the area, making the boardwalk look pristine. They have wonderful places for the kids to play, water fountains and playgrounds. It's a great place to go down there and grab uh, great drinks or, or food. Uh, they have the Oceanic Restaurant. They have the Beach House, which is pretty cool. And I highly recommend it. I think you can have a lot of fun when you do come down to Pompano Beach, Florida. A lot has changed just in the last five years and it looks beautiful. So come on down. I look forward to helping you. And I look forward to speaking with you and seeing you guys all again soon. Take care.